Lexi, there's something I need to ask you. Your mom, she's still on her own, right? She didn't get married again or anything? What's with the sudden interest in my mom? Yeah, she's still single. Why do you think she needs a husband? I think she's doing great by herself. She's still single? Oh no, this is bad. What? What's so bad about it? You know why she doesn't want to get married again. What does that have to do with anything? It has to do with tomorrow. We're meeting my parents, remember? I was thinking about it, and your mom crossed my mind, and... Well, my dad has a problem with that. A problem with what? What are you talking about? Can you please explain what you mean? I have a bad feeling about this. My dad has a problem with single mother families. What? Ethan, are you kidding me? Are you trying to make me laugh so I won't be nervous about meeting him tomorrow? I appreciate it, but come on, be serious. Tomorrow is a big deal for us. I'm not kidding, Lexi. I'm dead serious. He has a problem with families that are, you know, not whole. He doesn't consider them as real families. He thinks that the only way to be a family is to have a mom and dad. He's always saying that single mothers should stop being selfish and find a man to take care of them and their kids. I know it's crazy. And of course, I don't agree with him. But maybe we shouldn't tell him about your mom. What? You're not kidding? That's insane. Stop being selfish. Maybe he'll change his tune when he learns why some women choose to stay single. And besides, you do realize that we're meeting with them tomorrow to announce your engagement, right? Do you really think we can lie about my mom for the rest of our lives? And why should we have to lie about my family in the first place? I accept your family as they are, and you should do the same. I can't believe your dad still thinks like that. And even if he can't change his mind, fine. That's his opinion, but it shouldn't affect how we live our lives. I know, I know. But my dad is very stubborn about this stuff. You don't get it because you haven't met him yet. If you want to marry me, you'll have to keep it a secret, okay? Please, it'll just make things easier. If he finds out about your mom... Ethan, I'm sorry, but I can't do that. He'll find out sooner or later. And it'll be a lot worse when he does. He'll think we lied to him and tricked him into accepting me as his family. Don't you think it's better to be honest from the start? To make him understand that not everyone has a dad? So I'm going to tell him the truth. If he doesn't like it, then too bad. That won't change how we feel about each other, will it? What are you going to tell him, Lexi? I really don't think that's a good idea. If we tell him, he might freak out. Ethan, do you really want to marry me? If you love me for who I am and accept me as I am, then shouldn't that be enough for your parents? Are you really okay with lying about me when you introduce me to your dad? Because I think that's wrong. It's not fair to me, and it's not fair to your dad. You just want to lie now to avoid trouble, but there will be trouble anyway if you lie to him. Well, yeah, you might have a point. I see where you're coming from, I do. It's just that you don't know my dad. Believe me, it's better if we don't tell him anything. What are you so scared of? You won't have to face him alone. I'll be by your side. We're in this together, right? Yeah, I know. It's just that I've always been terrified of my dad and his judgment, his expectations, his disappointment. That's why I've always tried to please him. And I've never done anything that he might disapprove of. I understand that it's hard to stand up to your dad, but this is your life, and it's going to be our life. Do you really want to start our life with a lie? I don't, so let's tell him the truth. It'll be fine. I'm going to have some dinner and get some rest for tomorrow, so I'll text you in the morning. I can't wait to see you. Please, don't bring up anything irrelevant tomorrow. Irrelevant? You think that telling the truth about my mom is irrelevant? You know what, Ethan? I'm not going to pretend to be someone I'm not when I meet your dad tomorrow. I hope you'll figure out what matters to you tonight and realize that. That's the only way we can make this work.
How dare you think that a worthless girl like you deserves to marry my son? You're nothing compared to him. Do you get that? You grew up with a single mother. That means you're defective. I don't know what possessed Ethan to think that he could marry trash like you. But I know it's all you're doing. You must have lured him in. It figures, since that's probably how your mother ended up with you. And why you don't have a father. Are you listening to yourself? You're spewing nonsense. You don't know anything about me and my mom. You're saying that I lured him in because my mother is single now? What you're saying is so illogical that I don't even know how to tell you how wrong you are. And you're the trash here. Do you realize what you did? Let me simplify this for someone like you. You must have heard from Ethan that I run a company, right? What I'm saying is, my son is the next in line. He's going to take over my company someday. And I can't let him marry a woman below him. It would destroy the reputation I built. I guess he didn't listen to me when I told him what kind of woman he should marry. I'm ashamed that he fell for a woman like you. But that's more on you than on him. To think that he would bring a woman who doesn't even have a father? I can't believe you actually thought I would welcome you as my daughter-in-law. You must be really clueless. I own a company. You could never measure up to me. You're the one who's clueless. Do you really think you can get away with this? I can't believe someone like you is real. I never imagined that I would be hit by my own fiancé's father. And just because I told you that my mother is living alone now. You didn't even let me tell you why my dad is gone. And you think you can say that I'm going to ruin your company's reputation? You've already ruined it yourself, if anything. You're a menace to society. If you think it's okay to use violence to express your opinion. For a woman like you, a little discipline is needed to put you in your place. People like you don't understand what's obvious to company owners and powerful men like me. So you need to learn the hard way with pain. Do you get it now where you're not good enough for my son? A little discipline? Do you get that? I needed stitches for the wound you gave me when you hit me. What? Really? You needed stitches for that? I barely touched you. How weak are you? This is why women like you are such a problem. You start acting like a victim when all I was doing was teaching you a lesson about life and your role in it. It's not about how hard you hit me. The problem is that you hit me at all. It's unforgivable. You don't seem to grasp the seriousness of the situation. So let me make it clear for someone like you. You're going to pay for what you did for the rest of your life. I'll make sure of it. I swear I'll do whatever it takes. I'm going to ruin you. You can kiss your reputation goodbye because you and your company are going down. What are you blabbering about? What can someone like you do to a CEO like me? Who are you going to report me to? The police? The media? The court? Don't make me laugh. You're too poor. Do you really think that someone of your lowly status can challenge a man like me? Do you want me to teach you another lesson on your place in society? Because it seems like the first one didn't sink in. Are you threatening me so that I won't report you? You're disgusting. No. I'm telling you that if you don't press charges, you won't regret it. But you know what? I'm feeling generous today. I guess I vented enough when I hit you. It's too bad that you're still not worthy of him. But I'll let you marry Ethan. Happy now? I'm accepting you into my family. So don't go to the police. Or else you'll be the one to suffer. What? So now you'll pretend to accept me as your daughter-in-law just so that you won't get arrested? You are threatening me after all? All you've done since we met a few hours ago is try to scare me and use violence to manipulate me. And you think that will work? Of course, it will. Someone like you has no choice but to obey me. And you want to marry my son, don't you? Then that's even more reason for you to keep quiet. I don't think Ethan will be pleased if his fiancé puts his father behind bars. Especially if he realizes that I only disciplined you for his sake. The moment you report me to the police, your engagement to Ethan is off. 
I won't let him marry an ignorant, rebellious woman like you. You should be more grateful. I am giving you a chance. You want to be the wife of a CEO someday, didn't you? You can be if you do as I say. But if you report me, that dream of yours will be over. And I'll destroy you so badly that you'll wish you'd never crossed me. Are you really okay with that? I can't guarantee that your mother won't be hurt by the pressure I put on you. You're a horrible person. I can't believe that you try to use Ethan and my mother against me. Just so that I won't report you to the police. Just because you own a company and have some money doesn't mean that you can exploit other people's vulnerabilities to dominate them. But luckily, neither Ethan nor my mother are my vulnerabilities. You can wave my engagement to Ethan in front of me all you want, but I won't bite. So how about you apologize to me sincerely? What do you want me to apologize for? I have nothing to apologize for, least of all to you. I didn't do anything wrong. You assaulted me, Hunter. Apologize and pay for what you've done. Well, even if you do apologize, Nothing will change my mind about reporting you. But don't you think you should show more sincerity? Honestly, if you're like this in your personal life, I can't imagine what you must be like to work under. I suggest you apologize right now before this affects your company. What are you saying? How can this hurt my company? I told you that even if you report me, you can't touch me. You're just a poor girl from a broken family. What do you hope to accomplish in a court case against me? When I can hire the best lawyers and ruin you and your mother? Don't bother threatening me when you have nothing on me. I'm telling you, I'll let you marry my son. So you should see this as me giving you a second chance. Why don't you show me some appreciation? Or are you too stupid to do even that? I'm warning you. Don't go to the police. You lose, Ethan. Your future. Everything. Don't overestimate yourself. Do you really want to do something so foolish? You have no chance against me. You're the one who's threatening me. Obviously, you don't understand the power of money. Even if you did go to the police, I can easily make it go away with my wealth. That's why you should do as I say and thank me for letting you marry Ethan. That's settled. We're family and you can't go to the police. Do you get it? So let me get this straight. You really think that it was okay to punch me because I'm from a single mother household. You must be insane. What's your problem with single mothers? Were you raised by one yourself? And she was less than what you wanted her to be? And that made you hate the idea? Because if that's the case, I might feel sorry for you. But I still have to tell you you're wrong. I don't hate single mothers. I just don't think that they're capable of raising successful children. I was raised in a decent family, thank God. And look at me now. As for you, what do you have to show for yourself? You could have been a criminal. I don't like the idea of a woman like you getting near my son. But I'll overlook your flaws. It's too bad that I couldn't find a better woman for him. But I'll let you marry Ethan. You'll have to keep your background a secret, of course. So remember that. If you let anyone know the truth, it'll ruin my reputation. I don't know what you're talking about. You seriously think that people knowing about my mother being single will be worse for you than the fact that you punched me? You still don't get it? Do I really have to spell it out for you? I punch you because I couldn't stand the idea of a woman like you having the audacity to think that you could ever be good enough for my son. But lucky for you, I'm going to give you a chance. You can marry him as long as you don't go to the police. You're telling me to keep quiet? And you expect me to accept you as my father-in-law, even though you punched me? I'm telling you to do as I say. It's simple. Someone like you doesn't have the ability to think or do anything for herself anyway. So just follow my orders. You must be a fool if you think that. I'm not going to say yes and pretend that nothing happened. What did you say? 
I'm saying that you've really crossed the line. I have no intention of following your absurd orders, you piece of trash. I'm going to get my revenge and make you suffer for what you did to me. What are you saying? You can't do anything to me. You're the one who should be careful not to anger me. I can end you. I only have to say the word. A woman like you isn't allowed to defy a powerful man like me. I can crush you without breaking a sweat. Not to mention that I can make things hard for your mother too. Do you really think you can get away with that? You should think twice before you make such reckless comments. I have no interest in marrying your son, so I'm going to report you to the police. I told you, you can't use Ethan as a trap to force me into anything. What? Didn't you hear what I said? Or are you too dumb to remember? I'll let you marry him. There's no use in threatening me because I can destroy you. You'll regret ever defying me. You're the one who's going to be pleading for mercy when you find out what punching me will cost you. And why on earth would you think that I would still want to marry Ethan? I don't want him, and you can have him. Find some other woman who's willing to marry a spineless man like that. I'm giving you my blessing. I'm allowing you to marry him. How can you say that you don't want to marry him anymore? A woman like you doesn't get to turn down my son. You should be the one who gets stumped. But I'm being kind enough to let you stay. Don't you want to be the wife of a CEO? You lose the chance to be rich and live well. You lose all of that if you dare report me to the police. Who said I wanted to be a CEO's wife and live richly? That's all in your head. Because you're biased against people who only have a single parent. Besides, even if I wanted to be the CEO of a tiny company like yours, there's a limit to how rich I could get. I hear that your company is about to go bankrupt, and it's my guess that it has something to do with your arrogant attitude that you always carry around. What did you say? Did you just call my company tiny? You don't know anything about what it takes to run a company. Don't talk to me like that. Of course I'm talking about your company. Who else am I talking to on this chat? So it doesn't matter how many times you say that you'll let me marry Ethan. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't want him. He didn't even try to defend me when you punched me. He just sat there looking awkward. I guess that's how you've raised him to never stand up to you. But I never thought that he would just sit and watch me get punched and not even try to stop you. I was shocked at the time, but I realized that he's always been like that, and he'll never change. I'm not shocked or sad anymore, just disappointed. And I can't marry a man like that, so keep him. I already told him, and he made a big deal about it. But nothing is going to bring me back. Are we clear on that? You're not going to marry him? Then what was the point of me giving you my blessing? You can't be serious. You don't have the right to turn him down. You're going to marry my son, and that's final. You don't have the right to talk back to me. Ugh, this conversation is pointless. First, you were rejecting me as your son's fiancé. And then, you found out that I was going to report you to the police. And you started to demand that I had to marry Ethan. You're just saying whatever suits you at the moment. Who in their right man would want to marry a man like that and become the daughter-in-law to a man like you? Ethan is still texting me to take him back, but it's useless. I don't even want to see him. I'm not marrying him, and that's final. I'm going to file this report to the police, and you will pay for what you did. You both disgust me. How dare you talk about my son and me like that? You're just a woman from a broken family. You have no right to talk to me like that. Oh, by the way, I've already filed my report to the police. I'm sure they'll be coming to question you soon. What? You've already gone to the police? You can't be serious. It's all thanks to my mother. She came to see me while I was still in the hospital getting my stitches, and then she took me home. She knows someone in the local police station and called them to tell them what happened. She also arranged a lawyer to advise us on how to proceed with the case. We're ready to fight you in court. Didn't I tell you not to do that? I told you, even if you take me to court, I'll crush you with my team of lawyers. Neither you nor your mom can afford a lawyer good enough to beat the ones that I have hired to defend me. You should withdraw those charges before it's too late. You should have just agreed to marry Ethan when I said that I would approve of you. 
You ruined your own life by doing this. Why do you think that we're poor? Just because my mother is single? How backward can your brain be? There's a limit to how ignorant you can be. I'm warning you. Don't provoke me anymore. Say one more rude thing to me and you will be sorry. And it's a fact that people with single mothers are poor. You shouldn't let something as vague as a fact influence how you think about a whole group of people. You might be shocked to hear this, but it seems you're actually very familiar with my mother. I know that your company has contracts with many other businesses, and there's one company that you depend on and rely on for 70% of your contracts. I wonder what would happen if you were to lose that source of work. Funny enough, my mother owns that very company I'm talking about. What? My mother is the CEO of the company your company works for. She was outraged to hear that you had attacked me and is saying that she plans to terminate all contracts with your company. I'm not surprised that she'd react like that. You gave me a wound that needed stitches with a punch that was unprovoked and can never be justified as self-defense. Of course, she wouldn't be able to forgive you as a mother and as a businesswoman who takes pride in showing integrity in and out of work. I told you that you should apologize, but you refused. And that just proved to my mother that you weren't going to change and that you lacked the responsibility expected of a company owner. You're lying. Stop trying to intimidate me with your bullshit. It's not possible. Your mother can't own a company. She's a single woman. How can she run a business by herself? What's wrong with a woman who can raise a child and run a business on her own? You didn't let me explain before you hit me. So, let me tell you now. My mom wasn't always single. My dad died 10 years ago, and she never remarried because she never found anyone who could match him or love her like he did. You look down on single mothers because you think they're somehow inferior. But the truth is, my mother has been running the business that she and my dad started together ever since he passed away while taking care of me. And she's done an amazing job, single or not. Single mothers can be successful and can raise wonderful children. And the opposite is also true. But don't think you're better than them. Maybe you'll believe me if I tell you that the company she owns is N.E. Holdings. Did you know that the owner was a single mother? No way. You're lying. You can't be her daughter. You have no relation to her. Stop playing games. I'm not playing games. I'm dead serious. Have you checked your phone yet? I bet my mom has already called your office and canceled all the contracts you have with her. She's determined to make your company go bankrupt. I don't know the details, but you better call your office and find out what's happening. Your threats were empty, and you're the one who's going to be crushed. Hold on. I have a message from my office. They're saying that your mother canceled all the contracts we have with her company? This can't be happening. How am I supposed to keep my business alive if we have no work? What have you done? You have to stop this. I didn't know your mother was the owner of any holdings. I wouldn't have done it if I knew, I swear. Why didn't you tell me? If you had told me from the start, I would have accepted you into my family without any problem. You should have just told me. It's your fault for not being honest with me. Of course, I wouldn't have acted like that if I knew who you were. I mean, I just thought you were some girl who grew up with a single mom. I didn't hit you because I hated your mother. You can't do this to my company. Why don't you shut up for a moment and think about what you just did? What did you say to me? It doesn't matter who I am. You shouldn't have hit me. Listen carefully. It's very simple. You shouldn't hit people. Do you get it? Even if I was poor. Even if my mother raised me by herself for some time, that doesn't give you any right to hit me or anyone else. You're going to pay for hitting me, and that's final. You've destroyed your own reputation by attacking me. You must be really dumb if you think this is my fault in any way. I don't even know how you managed to build your own business. If that's the logic you've followed until now, I feel sorry for the people who work for you. But I guess they'll be free after your company goes bankrupt and is bought by my mother. At least your employees won't have to lose their jobs because of your stupidity. It's enough to just ruin your life. I'm so sorry. Excuse me? 
How can I ever make it up to you? I was so wrong to hit you like that. I'm truly sorry for punching you. I'm sorry for hurting you and causing you so much trouble. I wasn't in my right mind when I did it. I wish I could undo it. I'm ashamed of myself. And I swear I'll change. Please, just give me another chance. Are you kidding me? You think I'll forgive you just because you say you're sorry now? Where was your apology when I asked you for one? Why did you only apologize after you found out who my mother was? It's too late for forgiveness. You've shown me how insincere you are. You only care about saving your own skin. But you're out of luck because I don't forgive you. And I won't marry your son, so you can forget about that. Your company is doomed. I can't imagine how miserable I would be if I married Ethan. But I'm glad I don't have to. Please, don't do this. Please, don't take my company away from me. It's my life. If you valued your life so much, you should have thought twice before you punched me. Don't you realize that you have a duty to respect others and that your actions have consequences? Well, it's too late to learn that now. By tomorrow, you'll lose your company and your position. And I won't have anything to do with you. You're nothing to me. Please, don't be so cold. We were about to become family. And Ethan still loves you. He wants to marry you anyway. If you could just forgive me and take him back, we could be happy together. I can learn from my mistakes. And I'll treat you like my own daughter. I'll pay for your hospital bills and give you whatever you want as compensation. Please, can't we work this out? We don't have to involve my company. I'm begging you. No matter how much you beg, we can't work this out. I tried that before, but you rejected me because you thought I wasn't good enough, remember? You're wrong about so many things. Wrong about what? First of all, that me or my mother would ever accept an apology like that after you insulted us both so much and punched me. You also think that everything will be fine if you just say you're sorry and act like you regret it. But you don't even understand why what you did was wrong, so you can't save yourself. You can reflect on your actions all you want, but it's too little too late. Your life is over. You're going to be arrested for assault. So you better accept that you're going to lose everything, whether my mom cancels the contracts with your company or not. Yeah, I'm going to be arrested. That's ridiculous. You're blowing this out of proportion. It was nothing. Nothing? You call this nothing? The nothing that left me with stitches? Why don't you shut up and listen to me? You're only digging yourself deeper. You're going to be arrested and your company is going under. Just like I told you it would be if you didn't apologize. And it's all on you. This all started because you had stupid biases against me and thought they gave you the right to punch me. Please, hold on. Just give me one more chance, please. I'll pay you whatever you want. Just please don't take my company away from me. I don't need your money. I have plenty of my own. You'll have to face the consequences and serve your time in jail. You said so many things about single mothers and how they raise troublemakers who end up as criminals. But it looks like men like you are the ones who do more damage to society with your arrogant and self-centered attitudes. What do you say to that? You're the man who lost his company and became a criminal in one day, even though you had both parents. Hunter's fate was sealed when he was reported to the police for hitting Lexi and was taken away in handcuffs. Lexi's mother used her influence at N.E. Holdings to terminate all the contracts they had with Hunter's company and bought it for a bargain when it went bust. Hunter watched his life crumble before his eyes and he realized he had been sent to hell. To make matters worse, Ethan was angry that Lexi refused to marry him and blamed his father for everything even though he was partly responsible too. Ethan severed all ties with his father and ignored his pleas for help. Ethan's mother also learned about what Hunter did to Lexi and filed for divorce, 
saying that she was ashamed to be married to someone who would look down on single mothers. She took everything she had left in the divorce, leaving him with nothing in the world. But he had no one to blame but himself, since he was the one who crossed the line by punching her. He got what he deserved, and he had to live with the consequences. Maybe he would learn to respect others better.